Let's post double entry for expenses. As you can see in the first transaction, paid building rent 500 on 8th of Jan 2000. So how are we going to post the double entry for this? Building rent expense account debit and cash account credit. Therefore, let's move to building rent account. So you have to open a ledger for building rent. So building rent account debit, enter the date, details, opposite accounts name, followed by that the amount. Now go to your cash account and you had paid building rent on the credit side, building rent 500 in the cash account. Now let's post the entry for the second transaction. Paid electricity bill by check. Electricity expense debit, bank credit. So move to your electricity expense account. And you enter it on the debit side. Date, opposite accounts name, bank, and then the amount. Now let's move to the bank account and enter on the credit side along with the date. You paid for electricity, therefore opposite accounts name electricity, followed by that the amount. Now let's move to the next transaction, which is outstanding insurance worth 1000. So how do you post entry for this? Insurance account debit, outstanding or accrued insurance credit. So let's move to the ledgers. And let's move to insurance account. On the debit side, date, accrued insurance amount. And where are you going to credit this? You're going to credit this in accrued insurance account. Date, details as insurance and then the amount. Now the last transaction on 10th paid salaries in advance 250. Therefore, the double entry would be prepaid or advanced salaries account debit, salaries account credit. Now, let's move to salaries uh, prepaid. And you enter this along with the date in the debit side, opposite accounts name salaries. Now, move to salaries account on the credit side, date followed by prepaid salaries as detail and the amount 250. Now we had completed double entry and posting entries to ledgers of expense paid by cash, expense paid by check, outstanding expense and expense paid in advance.